Hi, beauties and curls. It is Melissa Q. Thanks so much for coming in and taking a seat. And out of all the YouTube universe, you decided to come and chit chat with your girl. Yes. Today's video, we are talking about favorites. Yes, we are talking about November favorites and I have quite a few. So let's just jump right in. And just to let you know before getting into the preliminaries, if you're new, welcome. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's going to let you know that I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. And we are doing vlogmas over on the vlog channel, Missy Q Memoirs. I'm trying to remember like all of this stuff. I am going to list timestamps down, down below because I want to go into some quick updates and that is like I said I'm going to be doing vlogmas over on my vlog channel and it's with my girl CJ she has her vlog channel daily dose of CJ don't forget to check us out because we will be doing mystery giveaways hidden in vlogmas and we have a big huge giveaway going on right now on our channels and that is the 12 days of Christmas it's kind of like a milestone to commemorate our 15k uh subscribers us having like that many subscribers i love to call you guys like just friends and family just because that's what you guys are you come back over and over again and we chit chat down in the comments i love it and i feel like we have a connection on twitter on snapchat wherever i am like at the moment talking and most of the time snapchat instagram and twitter has been like the main stuff besides youtube i found a way that's called youtube community to chit chat with you guys and i love talking to you guys over there so now we have the vlog channel which is a little bit even more personal that's why i wanted to call it missy q memoirs because it's more than just vlogging and we're going to be talking about discussions i do have a couple of videos already up by now so i encourage you guys to go ahead over and check out those videos and subscribe while you're there okay so into the favorites of the month okay so the first thing i want to talk about is my updos my changes my hair okay i love my natural hair i love my head wraps and now i'm incorporating wigs you a lot of you guys have loved it some of you guys have mixed reviews on wigs but yeah I'm, I, I'm I'm liking it right now. I'm feeling it. I did have a wigophobia uh, <laughs> a couple of months back, actually within the last year and even last year, but I am getting comfortable with it. And it's just because my hair needs a break and it's okay. It's, it's a wig. It's a wig. Okay. It's a wig. I love my head wraps. I am coming with some head wraps, my favorite head wraps on my head wrap collection. Not sure how I'm going to name it. I've already filmed that, but you guys will see that and yeah okay so let's get into uh, my favorites y'all know I do hair care skin care and then we're going to go into some beauty some makeup everything all of it's beauty to me like hair all of that's beauty we're going to get into hair products we're going to do skincare and then we're going to get into makeup so the first thing I'm going to talk about is the almond this is Smooth Naturals, the Nourishing Mist in the Scent Almond. I love this stuff. And I did something way back when, and I'm bringing some stuff back. I think I'm going to call it like retro flashback or something. But I need to talk about things that I used to do to like really grow my hair. My, my hair was really flourishing. I don't like the condition of my hair right now, but I'm getting it back to what it was before. And that is the Smooth Naturals nourishing mist and that's because i remember using this to moisturize and seal rather than a spray bottle because the spray bottle has regular water in it if i'm going to use water it needs to be like distilled i was using bottled water too i was not using it from the tap and that's one of the things that changed that i regret doing so i am going to come with a video about things that i regret doing that i got away from and now i'm getting back to but the nourishing mist is definitely on the list and I need to pick up some more of this. Okay, two more hair care products that I have been introduced to due to wigs. And I can use this in my curly hair. It's Granilla. Granilla. I keep saying that. Gorilla Snot and the Got To Be Ultra Glued. I love these. And you talk about slicking your edges. Your hair is not going anywhere. Anywhere if you put this on. And it is like snot, y'all. Y'all see that? 
I don't even want to put it on my hands to show the consistency. If you guys want to see a review on this specifically, see how it is applied on my hair, let me know. I have not put this in my hair because it would be way too crunchy. But let's look at my edges. If you want to see how I lay my edges using this, let me know. And I got this on a recommendation of You Love Meg's that girl slay some wigs, okay? And this is the Got To Be by Schwarzkopf Ultra Glued Invisible Styling Gel. Now I saw after the fact that this not only slicks down edges, but I wanna try this in my hair because it does not contain uh, silicones and it does not contain glycerin. Okay, but I wanna try and see how this, my hair reacts to this, maybe later. I'm not down with the wash and go right now, but I saw that, so I wanna try this, but this slicks down your edges for your wigs too. So this combo is amazing, but you have to know how to use it, okay? And I'm getting used to it, but I really love it. I can tell the difference versus Eco Styler. Yeah, not gonna lay down your edges like you really, really want to, like staying in place my curls can revert back using that but when i've used this it's not going anywhere i do have a dynamic duo this right here and they're both from the drugstore i love coming with drugstore favorites with you guys and this is the derma e purifying daily detox scrub with marine algae and i also have this is the skin active uh, moisture bomb by garnier this is the one that has with secure extract and hyaluronic acid this is a dynamic duo that change my skin okay this actually pulls out all the impurities it exfoliates your skin so you don't have it's like baby skin but this is like adding back the moisture and plumping it up my skin felt divine okay it smelled it felt so lovely and just beautiful my goodness and you talk about if you are like if you're wanting to have a good makeup day because you have an event do this before i'm serious your skin will the it will lay right and i'm telling you if you treat your skin well the makeup will have no problem no problem with acting right okay but these are amazing yes mary Kay. i went back to my mary Kay. this is the mary Kay oil free hydrating gel well it's called the yeah oil free hydrating gel i love this it's so good it is so good. It's for normal to oily skin, but I love this. It's a great, um, it says apply after a daily moisturizer. So you can use your SPF and everything. This makes my skin, oh, this is so good. And I'm going to talk about a dynamic duo with this in just a second. But I have been loving this moisturizer. I was going to put it in a project pan. I'm not going to have any problem. I love my Mary Kay. So that daily mesh moisturizer is amazing on to makeup in conjunction with that daily moisturizer i have been using the jouet foundation this is the essential high coverage cream foundation now by the time you see this video i will already have this review up so you already know that i love this i love this and y'all with this angel veil i feel like combos are something that a lot of youtubers don't talk about like pairing this and stuff maybe let me know if you guys want to see combos of like different products that really work because sometimes like when I first used this I hated this I hated it and it was because I used the wrong primer and I used the wrong moisturizer this is oil free you want to make sure that your moisturizer is oil free that your primer is oil free I feel like you're going to get the optimal um, application with your foundation when you use the right products under it and so this is stellar but I'm telling you I hated it before but it's because I use the right products over it so the angel veil is oil free it's moisturizing where it's not too dry but it does the job of smoothing and um, this is the Mary Kay oil free hydrating gel I love this oh my goodness such a great dynamic trio let's talk about some glosses minted cosmetics y'all don't sleep on them this is amazing for women of color. Y'all liked my everyday, it was for my everyday makeup drawer, but it was the holiday glam like project pan. I've been using my everyday makeup drawer and the projects in my project pans, my, my palettes. I've been using those in conjunction with items and these are Z-bomb, okay? These are in my everyday makeup drawer. They're gonna be in here for December just because I am a gloss girl. I am wearing mauve over me right now but these two are brown baby and bury me 
so i really do like the minted they're super duper smooth and they're not high shine gloss but it's the perfect gloss even if you wanted to put it over lipstick it's going to be moisturizing and it's going to keep your lips moisturizer moisturized it's going to keep your lips moisturized and they're not sticky so i really really love these don't sleep on minted okay it's amazing okay some other lippies that i have been loving these are the next cosmic metals now i have been using these non-stop especially when going to events and metallic lips are really in right now especially for the holidays this is in celestial and this one is in crystallized metal and i also talked about elite now i have a picture on instagram in elite but i have not talked about these two as well i love these these are so so amazing and then also um, I did post a picture on Instagram with these and these are the Makeup Forever Artist Metallic Glosses in 102 and 1 I mean uh, 102 and 500. This one is in taupe and this is in purple. Um, these are high sh these are not like high shine but these are super metallic like this is what you want on your eyes but it's on your lips. Like this is a to me this is like a highly pigmented gloss that's going to give you like pigmentation you're not going to need a lipstick and it's super opaque so opaque or opaque Op is it opaque 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 okay i'm messing that up uh, these are highly pigmented you're not going to need anything under it you can layer these but i'm telling you if you use this by itself or you use it with a liner that's all you need you don't even need a lipstick this is like a lipstick gloss that's what that is okay so moving on to contour i have been loving cream contour and this is in earth one by iman this is her stick foundation i love this i love this for contouring it is what i thought my anastasia was going to do but this is way better and then the tom ford this is his eye color quad in zero four honeymoon is what i have on my eyes right now <sighs> this is so good so so good the, it's not the colors because the colors are just okay you know we have these in our collection it is the smoothness the blendability i did not even have to use like fix plus if i didn't want to with these i really did enjoy this now i hauled this a long time ago if it were not for my everyday makeup drawer and having this in here i probably i don't know i probably would have slept on this too and i know this is a pricey product but i feel like if you want to splurge this is a really good quad to have in your collection it's just good i just i would i hate to say it but it's pricey but it's good so in terms of body products y'all i forgot to tell you about this but i have to insert this in this video okay <sighs> the loxitan shower oil the almond shower oil is amazing this is one of those products i think i went kind of luxe with the tom ford and the loxitan this is a pricey product but i'm gonna tell you this stuff is worth it like i feel like it's time to invest some things in me some things i'm not saying go overboard don't go crazy but i do believe in having a spot time at home especially if you have kids and you can't get out as much as you feel like you should have a spa night at home. This is what you want to have in your spa night. This is the uh, Amand, Amand, yes, L'Occitane in Provence almond oil. This is so good. This is so good. It's like moisturizing, but it's a, a light foam but it cleanses and it leaves your skin so moisturized. Like you feel like that you're getting cleansed in the shower, but also at a spa, but also at a luxury spa. So I really do enjoy this. I love it. I highly recommend that. I, it's just amazing. It's one of those products that you're like, why did I, why did I find that? Because it's so good and I have to keep buying it now that's just how I feel um I know I am condensing down my spending but I'm noticing as I'm condensing the price point and a lot of products is going up let me know if that's go happening with y'all like I love drugstore but I've noticed that 
as I'm condensing my spending, the price point of the value of what I buy is higher. And it's not that I'm doing it on purpose. I think it's just because of the quality. I feel like now that I really am sticking to what is like, I feel like I get need to get, um, I feel like, you know, getting a really good quality product than a whole bunch of like cheap okay is where I am right now. Yeah. Yeah. I love, uh, I love where I am right now. And I, I love the decluttering that's going on. I love that I'm project panning because it's letting me know. Yeah, I mean, I feel like project pan can kind of take you on a spiritual journey. Okay. And that's one of my favorites right now. Project pan and panning is something that's making me discover that makeup is not everything, but it takes forever to get through. And I, you know, scaling back on my makeup collection does not have to be huge, but it needs to be, it needs to be something that I feel like I can use and embrace. And I don't want stuff to expire. I've just realized that. So yeah, I know I went on a tangent. That is all pretty much I want to talk about, but don't forget to enter the giveaway. Y'all know I always give away an Ipsy Glam bag. Where is it? right behind me. I definitely don't want to forget that I am giving away an Ipsy Glam bag, you guys. So don't forget to enter down below and let me know what your favorite holiday tradition is. Definitely enter it down below and also click on the link to Gleam that I have down in the description box to enter this giveaway. And y'all know November in December, I like to add some favorites. I like to add a little something, something to, you know, the bag. So don't forget to enter it. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. And I am rushing because um, my son is awake. So <laughs> thanks so much for watching. I'll see you beautiful you in the next video. Bye, loveys.